Hi and welcome to this DCP Word tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create an Aurora effect using GIMP 2.10 and the Gimmick plugin. Okay, let's go ahead and open up GIMP software. And if you haven't installed the Gimmick plugin, I'll put a link in the YouTube description showing you how to do that. On my desktop, I've got this folder and inside this folder, I have this one picture, right? So I have this picture here and we're going to import that picture into GIMP software. So just drag and drop it into GIMP and click convert. So we've got this one picture here. We want to remove the background first. So we're going to click on the magic one tool here, the fuzzy select tool. We're going to set the radius to five, the threshold to 11.7, yeah? And select by composite and turn on the anti-alias in the feathering edge. Just set up your uh, magic one tool the same as what it is here. And we want to right click on this picture and click add alpha channel. And then we can just click on the picture and it will do some of the selection and then press Control X or Command X on Mac, Control X on PC, and we'll cut out that piece. We'll go up to the top here. Just keep selecting parts of the image and press Control X or Command X on, on the Apple Mac to select and remove pieces of the content. So really we've removed most of the content around the, the picture of this lady here. We're gonna click on the shoelaces inside and press Control X here as well. And then what we want to do is go to select and none let's hold down the space bar move this towards the center we can zoom in a little bit and what we want to do is just create a new layer let's create a new layer and we're just going to call it bg for now background just bg and we will set it to um, a white background white and click ok and then drag this background or click this arrow down here to move it behind and now we can see all the artifacts what we want to erase so let's click on the top layer Go to the eraser tool here and set it to a large size. I'll set it, you know, that's a bit too large. Just set it to quite a large size. Just set up everything. Just use the eraser tool to get rid of any of this stuff in the background uh, that we don't want. So all of this stuff here, we can get rid of it. Let's just remove all of this. And let's just roughly go around the picture. Let's just make sure that there's no artifacts around the edges that we can't see. So we basically remove the background now, right? So if we click here because we added alpha channel. We can see it's got transparency to it. So let's go ahead and save our work. Let's go to file, save as, and we'll just call this, um, um, let's just call this GIMP. Uh, let's call this uh, GIMP-01 and save it. So what we want to do is click on this picture of this lady here, click on the move tool and drag her down so that she's more towards the center of the picture. We can zoom out a little bit, you can kind of see she's more towards the center. And then we're going to use the selection tool, the rectangle selection tool, and we're just going to draw a rectangle around the picture here of the lady, right, on that layer. Something like this should be fine, it doesn't have to be super accurate, but just fill in the inside. So then we're going to go to uh, layer, and we're gonna to go to crop to selection. And then just go to file and click save. Okay, so this image that we've removed the background from, I'm going to click on this image and I'm going to right click on it and duplicate it once, twice, and then three times. So we've got three duplications. These are just copies, backup copies, so we can do other effects to it. And we'll always retain our, at least one copy, we should never do anything to it because that would be our background remove image where we can reuse it again in the future. What we want to do is take the background here, this white background, and move it up so that it sits behind the top version here. And then we can click on that image, right click, and then we're going to merge it down. So that's behaving as one layer. Now, now the ladies on the white background, right? That's what we want. And we're going to keep one of these copies. You should disable one and say that's your backup. So you can always duplicate this one again. And we can hide this one. And we've got these two layers enabled, uh, one with a transparent background and then this top one. Let's click on this top one, go to filter and go to gimmick plugin here. If you haven't already installed this, I'll put a link to that in the YouTube description showing you how to install it. And I'll also put a link to this same image where you can download and use it. Let's click on the gimmick plugin and it will load up. And there's lots of different options in here. We're gonna click on artistic and we're gonna click on Aurora here. And you'll see this effect applied, right? And it, the vertical set to one and the horizontal, so the vertical set to six value and the horizontal set to one. But in this drop down, we're gonna click average and we're gonna get this sort of effect here. We're gonna get this average effect, right? Something like this. 
and then we want to go to um, make sure the import layer is set to active and then make sure the output layer or output mode is set to new layer and preview can be just be first output default we'll click OK here let's click OK and then we'll get that effect that raw effect now what we can do is take this image one of our transparent images and move it up so that it sits above and now you can see that a raw effect applied to that particular image right you get this sort of blur sort of nice image sort of effect we can click on the one below so the layer just below which has got that effect applied to it we can go to color we can go to hue and saturation and then you can start playing around with the hue and saturation to change the color um, of that raw effect right something like this you can have it like purples or blues and then you can increase the saturation to give it more sort of um more depth and more color to to the to that particular effect so you can go and play around with this you can experiment with it i f kind of thought it was a nice sort of technique um, we can hide this layer so if you want it like darkened down you can leave it darkened down but i think applying that that layer on top gives it a bit more of a, a better presentation right and depending on the background color is going to depend on the effects that, that that gets applied so let's take one other scenario if we hide these two and we've got the white background let's hide that one let's take this layer here and let's just duplicate it um, let's just duplicate it once and we'll take this layer and move it to the very top let's move it right to the top so we've got this new layer that we're working with let's enable it we'll click on this layer here this one and we'll create a new layer and we'll call it background and we'll leave it white for now and click OK but we'll change this background color so let's change it to something like um, uh, let's try let's see what happens if we apply uh, something like um, let's try a blue color right like a blue so we'll, we'll select a blue color in here so the top swatch is blue let's go to the paint bucket tool we'll click on this background layer it's white at the moment we can click on it and now it will be a blue color and then we can click on this top layer right click and we're going to merge it down so now we've got a uh, this person on a blue background right we can go back to the gimp tool go to our filter gimmick plugin that same plugin is going to be pre-selected and you're going to get a different effect now so it'll be on the blue background so if you want a blue background then you can uh, apply a different effect uh, in here and you can change the vertical and you can change it here just to add a slightly different effect to it so you can have it glowing a little bit glowing more and you can even go to average and change it to none and then you'll have this sort of style right um, which is different this is, this is a different style so you can do something like this here for example and uh, let's just let's reduce the, the vertical we want to have a little bit of a horizontal in there let's say horizontal we can set to 0 0.01 and then we can increase this one to about 0.88 and click OK then you have this black background and then you can take your image the transparent or the transparent image and apply that and then just enable it and then you'll have this effect on a black background so if you want it on a black background you can use this technique as well there's a couple of different styles and now you need to go and experiment if we hide this one uh, let's see let's enable it again this will be on a black background right yeah that's correct so now you can go and experiment again you can click on that image go to your colors go to your saturation um, not saturation let's go to um, hue and saturation and then you can change the color of this blue you can change it to like a green or a yellow or blue or purple or pink whatever sort of color you want you can go and experiment with that and you can get a different effect as well this is all about you going experimenting play around with the gimmick plugin there's lots of different options in there for you to go and play around with and experiment and you know that's how i'm learning as well you just got to go and play around with the settings experiment see what works well if you like it great if not then just change it always retain one of your copies of your um transparent layer here always make sure you've got a backup copy so that you can apply a different background experiment with that see how that works out and just see what works well for you right it's all about experimenting and seeing what works well you could even in theory uh, take this layer let's move it let's make a copy of it let's try one more let's um let's duplicate this let's duplicate it duplicate and we'll move that to the top here and we could take this layer and just apply it on a transparent but what i found is when you apply it on a transparent um let's just go to none 
uh, let's see, average, sorry, it's taking the original background. So GIMP somehow still retain that information from the original photograph. And you've got like this gray, and you get this cut off here. So that's why I didn't really, that's why I'm applying my own background color, but maybe like a gray might look pretty good as well. So we could um, create a new layer, new layer, and it can just be white. Here's our new layer. We can go into here and we can select like a, a really pale gray, something quite pale. Click OK. And here's our background. Let's go to our paint bucket tool, apply that gray color. So it's quite a light gray. And then we can click on the top image. And let's see what happens if we if there's if this layer is directly below the gray one. Let's see what happens. I'm not quite sure. Let's check it. Maybe it will still use the original layer from the original image. So it's still using that original layer from the original image. So we have to merge this down, click cancel. So clearly that gimmick plugin needs some sort of color or something in the background. So we can click here, merge it down. So now it's on this gray layer. Go to color, sorry, go to filter, gimmick plugin. We can apply it to a gray background. And it seems to darken the background here. So I haven't worked out, you know, all of the ins and outs of this particular plugin. I guess you could do some sort of selection afterwards and, and get rid of the gray background. Um, it's really for you to go and experiment with and see what works well for you. And I think we'll re reduce that down to about 4.8. Click OK. And that's going to be on this slightly darker gray background. We can click on this very bottom one. We still retain that original copy. Uh, of our transparent version and now we can move that one to the top I kind of like this I think on the gray background the blue seems to work well so let's go to file save we can save our work let's go to file export as and we'll export this as a uh, we'll, we'll export as a JPEG file right so let's go to JPEG click export and then click export we can close down GIMP, open up this folder, and then we've got the original image here. And then we've got our one with our sort of, um, there's a few artifacts down here, can you see? So you can get rid of those using um, the paintbrush. You can just take that into Photoshop and just use your paintbrush to fix those little artifacts. Well, you can leave them there if you want, it's up to you. That's kind of this raw effects, right? Using the gimmick plugin and using GIMP. Hopefully you can go and make something nice and creative. It doesn't have to be a person. It could be a cutout of anything, right? It could be a pet, could be anything you like. It could be a drinks bottle, it could be pretty much anything. But you get this nice sort of effect and I thought that was quite interesting. We could even we could even tilt it to persons at more of an angle, but that's for you to go and play around with. That's the end of this tutorial. Um, I've got lots more GIMP tutorials on my website on YouTube as well. So you can check my website or YouTube. Feel free to have a look at that. I've got over 750 tutorials on YouTube on a wide range of subjects. So feel free to subscribe so you can learn lots of different techniques on lots of different software applications. Anything from graphic design to 3D animation, uh, to motion graphics, web development, uh, even Word documents, Excel spreadsheets, you name it, you'll probably find a tutorial uh, on my YouTube channel for something that might interest you. Okay, that's the end of this tutorial. I hope you find it useful and I look forward to seeing you in the next DCP web tutorial.